Welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Pastor Rick Utzi from Maranatha Community Fellowship in Plain City, Ohio. On the date of this recording, May 18th in 1980, Mount St. Helens blew its top. It's the volcano in Washington that erupted and uh, a lot of damage happened. I mean, that whole north side of that volcano basically just got blown apart. And 1,300 feet at the peak blew down the side of that mountain. Um, ash blew 80,000 feet into the air. Forests were leveled uh, for miles around uh, the volcano site. Thousands upon thousands of wild animals died. 57 people died. And among the most famous of those was a guy named Harry Randall Truman. He was 83 years old. He was the owner of a lodge and they were evacuating everybody out of there because this thing had been erupting for months. And, and he decided that he wasn't gonna go. If the mountain went, he was gonna go with it. And he uh, actually said that danger uh, from the volcano was exaggerated. He said, I don't have any idea whether it will blow, but I don't believe it to the point I'm going to pack up. He says, if the mountain goes, I'm going with it. The area is heavily timbered. Spirit Lake is between me and the volcano. The mountain is a mile away. Enough, he said, the mountain ain't going to hurt me, boy. And he kind of became a folk hero because they interviewed him multiple times over these months um, that he wasn't leaving. And what I want you to, and what I want us to understand is that he underestimated uh, the the damage that can be done when something blows its top. And actually, he ended up dying along with his 13 cats under 150 feet of volcanic um, lava and other debris. And so it was a massive eruption. And as I was thinking about that, what does the Bible tell us about anger and blowing our stack or our top? And, and the Bible says in Ephesians 4, 31 and 32, it says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as Christ forgave you. So I think we need to be extremely careful how we live. Sometimes we just think our anger is part of our personality and that's just the way we are. But the Bible is quite clear that all that has to be put away from us because it's extremely dangerous. Just like that volcano that was smoking for months and earthquakes and rumblings were happening and people really didn't understand, or at least some people, the true danger in that. The same way um, happens for us with our anger. And so here's the bottom line. Are we carrying around a burden of revenge and bitterness Instead of blowing our top, we need to forgive others as Christ forgave us. And everyone, including yourself, will be more joyful for it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Bottom Line.